So now let's see how we can do the pop-out animation inside of After Effects. So to do that, I'm just going to go around, import some images right here. So I'm just going to go to import, gonna go into file, and then in my desktop right here. So once I go to desktop, I got these three files that I downloaded off the internet. So I'm just going to import these out right here, and I got these three files. So I'm going to uh, work around with a new composition right here. So I'm just going to click on create new composition. And then I'm going to select, uh, let's say a very uh, like fast quality right here so that it renders out quite fast. So I'm just going to select PAL D1DB widescreen and press OK. So I'm just going to bring uh, these things around. So I'm just going to bring around, uh, let's say this coffee right here, just like this. So this is the coffee that we're going to be animating and this is the beans that is going to pop out of the coffee right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to resize the beans right here. I'm holding shift so it does not actually distort out. So just like this, what I want is I want the coffee beans to pop up and go down just like this as uh, this the, as this coffee is here. So now I'm going to do the basic animation first before I apply on the masking. So I'm just going to go around over here, press P on my keyboard to get up the position. So I want the animation to start around over here in one second. So I'm just going to add in position keyframe, go around right over here onto two seconds and then uh, get this around. I'm going, I'm going to hold sip so that it pops out just like this. Now, over here and then over here on three seconds, it just goes back down again right here. Let's see how the animation is now. So it actually goes up and then goes out, goes down just like that. So now what I'm going to do is add an A's into this. I'm going to add an easy A's and then I'm going to add an easy A's out right here and easy A's in right here. So let's just see how the animation looks like now. So it is much more smoother go into the graphs. I'm just going to go on to the graph editor, go on to the position and work around with the graph right here. So I want easy A's right over here. So I want this kind of an animation just like this right here. As you can see, I'm going to smoothen this out just like that over here as well. So I have two pointy things right here just like that. So as I go around, you can see that that is how it actually animates out much more dynamic right over here. So you can of course add in rotation as well. So let's say over here, uh, let me just go around. Let me add in a rotation as well. So let me just go around into rotation and then turn off the graph right here. And I just want to see everything. So I'm just going to turn that off and then ex uh, expand all of these out right here. So I want the keyframe to be exact right here. So I'm just going to go around right here. I'm going to go to rotation and then I want one full rotation. So I'm just going to go around. So this is quite optional uh, when it comes to rotation. So I'm just going to have one round and let's see how that looks like. So it actually looks like that. And I'm going to have an easy is out right here. So easy is out and easy is in right here. So first of all, we have to work around with the animation and then go around onto the graph editor again and manage that out just like this. Pull this out over here and then you have this. So you have jump and it flips out just like this. So on the air, the coffee beans just flips out right over here, just like that. You can see that as it goes onto the air, it's quite faster. So we got our basic animation that we want to pop out right there, just like this. So now what we want to do is, let's say, let's play around uh, with scale a bit as well. So we're going to go onto the exact thing right here. Gonna go onto scale, gonna go on uh, at the center, just like this, and then expand this out a bit so that it seems like 3D right over here. It's coming on to the front. And then we're going to go out over here on the end, and then we're going to scale it back down just like this. Not that it matters, but anyways, it just expands it out over here on the center, as you can see. So it's small and it expands out, and then it just goes down right here. So let me just expand this out right here, just like that, and go down right here, just like that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in an A's out right here. So let's go, let's go out right here, A's out, and then this is going to A's in again, just like this. So it just expands out right over there, and then just go out right here, that's the scale, just pull that in right over there. So pulling out and working with the graph is very important to make the animation much more smoother. So if I were to go over here, you can see that that is how it looks like now. So now it's time to make the reveal right here. So I'm just going to apply a mask right here. And to do that, what I need to do is, first of all, I, I want to trim this out. 
maybe around two or four seconds, just like that, because that's the only amount of animation I need. So I'll just trim to come area right here. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this image. I'm going to pre-comp this out. So I'm going to move all the attributes inside of the new composition, just like this. And then now I can just mask this up. So everything, all the animation is inside this composition. So let's just go inside right here and then use the masking tool right here. So I just need to uh, trace this part out right here. Just trace this part out, drag that in right here, just like that. Okay, so I have the Roto Bezier on. I don't want the Roto Bezier. I want the regular Bezier. So just go around onto this composition right here, click and drag it out right here, and just mask that portion out right over here, just like this. Just mask this portion out and zoom back out. And the shape can be anything that you want, just like this. So now what happens is that only that portion is zoomed in. And the coffee beans now seems as if it is coming out of the mug right there, just like that. So you can see that this is the animation now. All right, so once you do that, now we have our uh, composition of the beans ready right here. So this is the composition. We can simply create a new composition right here. So composition two. And then what we're going to do is bring in a background to make it a bit more interesting. So let me just scale this out right here, just like this. And then what I'm going to do is, okay, just fit this out. So I'm just going to uh, fit this. Uh, let's go over uh, here, just like that, fit. Okay, that's it. So then what we can do is bring up the coffee mug uh, composition one, just like that. So the animation is here. So animation on the top layer, just like this. Okay, so that is there. And there you go, there's the coffee mug animation, just like that. All right, so there's the animation right there. I'm going to create a duplicate of this as well and change the timing just a bit so that it looks much more dynamic. So I'm just going to go around over here and change the position of these on to the left just like this and this one a bit on to the right so you can create unique animations or you can just uh, change the position right around just like this and then what you have is you have this right here so you got that and that right there so now i'm going to trim this area right here till i see all of the animation right click and trim comp to work area so i just have the moving part so now what I want to do further is do a little bit of zoom in to make it more dynamic. So uh, I'm going to go around over here and then I may want to do this. I may want to pre-comp this so it actually becomes a group just like this. And then I'm going to have a scale effect on both of these right here. So there's a bit of a scale. I'm going to add in a keyframe right here. It just goes in right here. This scales out just like that. Um, the coffee beans to scale out and uh, more just like that and the background scales a bit less uh, compared to the coffee beans goes back right here and the background scales out just like this and the coffee beans scale out way more further so now you have a zoom in effect right over there as well and you can see that the background and the uh, speed of the uh, zoom in is different for both so it kind of looks much more dynamic right? just like that so let me just scale out the coffee beans a bit more just like this and then of course I need to add in an A's out as well. So I need to go on to the coffee beans. So let me just zoom this in a bit more so that it looks much more dynamic. And then select out all, right click, and then just easy A's it. It's not important that you use a graph always, but that's just it as you can see right here. And you got the animation ready. So you have the pop out animation of the coffee beans just like that. And to get out more quality, you can turn this on right here so that if you are using vector graphics and so forth, you get the full quality just like that. And that's how you use the pop-out animation inside of After Effects. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.